Hi, I'm Ganesh and in this video, we'll talk about the features coming to Blazor in .NET 8. Today, there are different ways to build web applications. We can use server-side rendering or SSR or we can use client-side rendering or CSR. In server-side rendering or SSR, we have a web application that lives on a server. When a browser makes a request to the server, our web app will process a request to dynamically generate HTML and that HTML will be added to the response which is sent back to the client browser. The browser's job is to simply display the rendered HTML. Now to build such kinds of applications in .NET, we have frameworks like Razor Pages and MVC. There are a few problems with server rendered web apps. The first is that it requires a round trip to the server. The second is it causes a full page refresh. Next up we have client side rendering or CSR. In CSR, we build a client side web UI or a single page application and its HTML, CSS and JavaScript are downloaded to the client browser. So the application is now highly interactive and responsive. When the application needs additional data, it might call into a web API and the web API will return JSON or XML data and that data will be sent in the response back to the browser and the page will be updated. Now to build such interactive web apps in .NET, we have the Blazor framework and we can use Blazor WebAssembly or Blazor Server. Now what if we want to combine SSR and CSR in a single app? So Blazor in .NET 8 lets us build full stack web UIs that combines the benefits of Razor Pages, MVC and Blazor and unifies them into a single component based programming model. Let's now talk about the features coming to Blazor in .NET 8. The first is server side rendering where we have a browser that sends a request to the server and on the server, the request will be routed to a Razor component and the Razor component will execute to dynamically produce HTML markup and that markup will be sent in the response and the browser simply displays the rendered HTML. So this is the usual server rendered web app scenario. So there's no Blazor WebAssembly or Blazor server here except that we are using Razor components to create such applications. The next feature is enhanced navigation and form handling. Here, when the browser wants to perform a navigation or submit a form, Blazor in the browser is going to intercept that navigation or form submission and instead issue a fetch request. On the server, the request will be routed to a Razor component and the Razor component as usual will dynamically produce HTML and that HTML will be added to the response and sent to the browser. But this time, Blazor in the browser is going to intercept that response and calculate the minimum number of changes needed to update the page and it will apply those changes to the browser's DOM so we don't have a full page refresh going on here. The next feature is streaming rendering. So let's say a browser makes request to the server and on the server the request is routed to a Razor component and further assume that the Razor component is going to perform a long running operation such as making an API call or querying a database server. Normally in server rendered web applications, only when the query is complete and data is available, the page will be rendered to HTML and the HTML will be sent back to the user's browser. But when we turn on streaming rendering for a component, the Razor component can be initially rendered to HTML while the long running operation is happening in the background and that HTML will be sent in the response back to the browser. Now once the query is complete and data is available, the component will be re-rendered and a streaming update will be sent on the response stream and Blazor in the browser can take the response and update the document object model with that data. The next feature is the ability to add interactivity per component or page. So in .NET 8, we can have a server rendered web application and add interactivity to a page or component via Blazor WebAssembly or Blazor server. And this is done by using interactive render modes. So in .NET 8, will have a single Blazor web app template and then include server components and WebAssembly components in the app. And in .NET 8, we can choose an interactive render mode at runtime. So with the auto render mode, the Blazor WebAssembly render mode will be used if the .NET WebAssembly runtime can be loaded quickly. So this is possible if you're on a high speed network or if the .NET WebAssembly runtime was previously downloaded and cached. Otherwise, it uses the server interactive render mode while the .NET WebAssembly runtime will be downloaded in the background. That's it for this video. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching.